Welcome back, my friends, to BJJ Brick Quick. You've come to the Quick Jujitsu Podcast. My name is Byron. We're doing the 10 Bullets by Tom Sachs. This is number 10. If you just popped in for today, hopefully you enjoy it. If you enjoy the topic, you might bump back 10 episodes, maybe 9, maybe 15. <laughs> and listen to the to the other bullets here. But this is kind of a conclusion of Tom Sachs' 10 bullets. He wrote these and helped him organize and run a studio where people, people made things. I heard about these, and I can really explain these better in the first episode of the 10 bullets. And I thought this would be interesting to look at these in a jujitsu perspective. Bullet number 10, persistence. Here's a quote. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing in the world is more common than unsuccessful, talented men. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. How important is being persistent? Anybody with that goal that they have accomplished had to persist through something. Oftentimes, many things. You look at somebody who's successful, you're like, oh, they had an easy road. Nope. You're just not seeing what happened before this. I like the, That's a good quote. It's kind of tied to this 10th bullet here. Talent won't get you there alone. You got to be persistent. Genius won't get you there alone. You'll find something else to do. Education. You could train with the best coach in the world. If you're not persistent, it's going to get you nowhere. I feel like some of these, these 10 bullets that we've covered, I have had to kind of <laughs> explain them quite a bit. We talked about, you know, the gym or the mats being a sacred space. We talked about being thorough. We talked about saying, I understand, or keeping a list, or what knowing. What does always be knowing? What does that even mean? We talked about all these things. Number 10, persistence. Anything that's important to you, it's going to take persistence. Here's the cool thing. <laughs> If you enjoy jujitsu, the persistence gets a little bit of a free ride. If you are dreading it, if it's hard to get out there and, and to train and to want to learn new things, it's absolutely miserable. <laughs> it's not going to work for you. I, I would be shocked if you could find somebody who's successful with jujitsu who doesn't actually love it. And when you love something, really enjoy it, you'll be persistent with it. I think about myself and, and my persistence with jujitsu. I've been doing it to, since 2002. And there were times when maybe a competition was coming up or I wanted it to uh, get to a certain level or whatever. I was a little bit more persistent, a little bit more dogged with my determination. And now as I'm doing other things... <laughs> Uh, you know, working and uh, married life and doing a daily quick podcast, whatever. I may not make every class I can get to, but I'm still there a lot. I still enjoy training. When you get back in your vehicle and you're heading home, get on the subway, whatever, however you get back to where you live, unless you live at the gym, man. You've had a rough day of training. You get back up and you train tomorrow? Or you train for whatever day you had scheduled? Or are you done? Is it not working out like you thought it would? You just got your blue belt. And you just realized 
that yeah, you're you're better than most of the white belts, if not all. But you look around the class and you're like, I'm one of the worst blue belts in here. <laughs> Come to class again and again and again. Weeks go by, and you know what? All those blue belts are also getting better. Who cares? <laughs> If you're one of the worst blue belts, you're still having a good time. You're still training. You're still one of the, you know, you're better than than you were last week. A couple years tick by. You're one of the better blue belts in the room. That might bother you that, that, that you had to go through that stage. Learn to put your concentration somewhere where it's productive. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the 10 bullets by Tom Sachs, uh, his last name, S-A-C-H-S. You can type it in on YouTube. There's there's several well-done videos about these. Uh, if you've enjoyed this sort of a, I don't want to call it a tangent, but this this diversion from a typical Jiu-Jitsu podcast where you're like, okay, talk about food, talk about you know nutrition, talk about sleep, or, uh, you know, just to generalize you just to topic i don't think anybody has talked about these 10 bullets for jiu-jitsu yet if you've enjoyed this let me know and i'll find other things i'm always reading books and always kind of exploring other worlds i can just drag other stuff onto the mats and we'll, we'll continue to learn together hope you have a great day today and stay sweaty my friend <laughs>